Good morning everyone and welcome to St Peter's. This is the start of your child's future at St Peter's and today marks an important stage in your child's learning journey. You have already provided them with a wealth of essential experiences and opportunities that have enabled them to acquire many skills and gain knowledge. We now join with you to build upon what they have already achieved to ensure that they receive an exciting and challenging education which will support them to become happier, confident and a valued child. What do you see? If you're with someone at home, just talk about these photos. What are the children doing? You may see play and the children probably see play. When they come home to you after a day at school, they'll tell you they've played all day. But actually, when we look at what they're doing, they're learning. In design technology, they're building and adapting. They're developing investigation skills in their science. They're developing literacy and communication when they're making up their own stories. They're developing their social skills when, when they're taking turns in their play, when they're talking to their friends. They're developing listening skills, listening to each other, responding to each other, developing problem solving skills and measuring distance in the maths area. At St Peter's, we believe that school and home partnership and working together is the most successful way for children to learn. It is important that we work together to ensure your child makes good progress. We want to make your child's entry into school as smooth as possible because we know how special they are to you. We will be looking forward to building a great relationship with you and ensuring we provide the best for your child. What is the Early Years Foundation stage? It's the EYFS and it's the stage of the curriculum for the children from birth to the end of reception year. It's based on the recognition that children learn best through play and active learning. And from September 2021, the early years begin their new curriculum. We will now build upon their nursery experience as they move into reception class. From September, we have a new EYFS curriculum. There are seven areas of learning. When your child begins, we will be focusing on the prime areas, as these will ensure that your child feels happy and safe in school. Communication and language development is broken up into listening, attention and understanding, as well as the child speaking. Personal, social and emotional development, PSED, is all about the child being able to self-regulate, manage self and building relationships with others. And then we have physical development, which is about both the gross and fine motor skills. So the new EYFS curriculum talks about developing the children's love of books, reading, language and communication skills and developing their new vocabulary. A broad vocabulary is key to their language and communication skills. So introduce new vocabulary through daily experiences, play, creative activities and introduce new words as often as possible. Much of our curriculum at St Peter's is shared around our love of books, both fiction and non-fiction. We recommend that you take daily opportunities with your child to share books at home. These are packed full of rich vocabulary and you could introduce and talk to your child about these new words. Some parents worry about developing the children's writing, writing letters, writing their name. But what is important is developing their pincer grip, especially through a range of activities. Why not practice their fine motor skills to en enable them to focus on developing their pincer grip? Practice learning through play, through Play-Doh, using pegs, picking up buttons, mark making, Holding a pencil, paintbrush, crayon, all these things will help develop your child's pincer grip, uh, which will later help them with their pencil grip. It is still important to continue sharing songs and rhymes with your child at home. These are fun activities that encourage rhythm and rhyme, 
which will later support literacy skills once they start school. Communication and language development is key. Bolton Startwell have created the five golden rules for uh, communication. Please find a copy of this in your pack. We will also upload a copy onto the school website and your new tapestry account. As we've said, we will first focus on the prime areas so that your child feels safe in school. We will then look at the specific areas of learning. These are broken into literacy, comprehension, word reading and writing, and then maths, which is all about number and numerical patterns. If you're wanting to help your child over summer, just look for opportunities to count with them at home, in the garden, when you're out and about. Look for numbers, work on recognising numbers. Can your child learn to count to 10 and can they count back from 10 again? The remainder of the specific areas are understanding of the world, which is about the past and present, people, culture and communities and the natural world. Then we have expressive arts and design, lots of opportunities for creating materials and being imaginative and expressive. So learning through play is extremely important. We share the same opportunities indoors and outdoors. Outdoor learning is so important and the door will be open throughout the day for the children to explore. So please remember, adults who help children to play are adults who help children to learn. The early years curriculum is an extremely special curriculum. And as the children say, we've just played today, but we've all had fun. We're really looking forward to meeting you and working with you in September. We'll see you all really soon. Have a lovely summer.